bonk. What was bonk, that? Bonk, 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 bonk. Is that in tune with the music? I can't hear anything. No, I, it wasn't. I just wanted to bonk you. <laughs> oh, I was so confused. Don't worry, Mario's confused too. He can only say yippee and let's a go. But yeah. the real let's a go was the friends we made along the way. Yeah, Mario actually just doesn't understand English very well, so he he's only Italian. Knows, he only knows like six words. Well, yeah, he's fucking Italian. Of course, he doesn't understand English. But, uh, I don't but, know. Luigi kind of does. Don't know. He's built different. Oh. He bothered to do the Duolingo to learn English, and Mario was like, no, no. <laughs> yeah, Mar Mario's like, so long, gay Bowser, and Luigi. <laughs> Luigi's like, uh, like giving you like a. Uh, the full, like, he's talking about, like, the full Bible in English. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen will that? You, will you date me? <laughs> Breathe if yes. Recite the Bible in Japanese if no. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Did you stop breathing? <laughs> ah, shit. I'm gonna throw your cousin at you. Hold on. That's so fucked up. <laughs> Fuck that. What's this? Anyway, what did we do in the last one? We beat up, uh... Oh, clunks! Oh, chunks! Oh, yeah, chunks, that guy. What is in this? A live shroom! Okay. Oh. You can get combos, so you can get more points that way. You oh. gotta shake the controller, because it has, because you know the Wii has, like, uh, motion things. Yeah. Uh -huh. We are we are definitely playing this on a Wii. We're playing this on a, a Wii U, actually. <laughs> yeah. Which makes it even better. Is there written nothing here? What the fuck? This is some fucking bullshit. Pro Chacho over there is stuck in 3D land. So, you know what? You can bring him out. <laughs> That's so. <laughs> <laughs> he had a taste of freedom. That was beyond fucked up. Well, what else was I gonna do? Let him suffer? Wait, 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 wait. What? Surely that area up there was there for a reason. Did you ever scan it with Pixel? Oh, you mean the area I went to and I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. No. That's a great idea. I should probably do that. Also, I feel like you can go into 3D and go past that wall that's on the right. On the right? Wait, where we got the light shroom? Oh, yeah, sorry. No, no. no nothing here. You, you know, that seems like a no hidden area to, doors. to put something hidden. Did you design the game? No. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, you as a six-year-old, you're like, I'm never gonna play this game, but I would love to help design it. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. No, I never I never wanted to be a game designer. Well, okay, that's actually false. I did want to be a game designer until I realized how shit game designing is. But no one actually wants to game design. They want to play the game, you know? Yeah, that's what people don't understand. They're like, oh, if I'm a game designer, I get to play the games all day. No, that's why you'd be like when the beta testers and whatnot. Yeah. That way you can like play the game and you can be like, oh, you're game shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm a beta tester, except I'm not actually a beta tester, I'm just a beta and I'm testing games. Oh shit. <laughs> those, 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 those fucking wheelies, dude. No, but let me explain to you, uh, let me explain to all of y'all out there. Um, I'm closer. It's, it, seems, it seems fun and all to be a game designer, but it's just like, uh, it's just like animators, like they get kind of treated like crap. Yeah. And and you have to work like really long hours. There you go. I lowered the thing a bit because I was like, what? I was like, oh, the game audio seems a bit loud. <laughs> because, Ooh. Because uh, little do, little do you know that uh, you know people have so many expectations when it comes to uh, to games because people want games to be designed this exact way. Whereas you know if you're a normal software developer, people are just like. Yeah, what, whatever, whatever you think is best is probably best. No, come back. Like the amount of times <laughs> that, like, I, like me as a software developer, I've been uh, asked to make something, and they just said, "Well, how would you design it?" And I'm like, "Well, you're the one that's asking for it." <laughs> <laughs> Whereas, like in games. Yeah, People know. know exactly what they want. Yeah. And if you do not meet their expectations, they are pissed. 
Yeah, Rick, what the fuck did you just give me? <laughs> oh shit, hold on. I got this. Kobe. Got him! Something happened outside the room. Wait, does it drop another one? It does. Can you farm infinite points here? Yeah, you can. <laughs> there's guess, there's a little sheet for everyone. I guess it's just extremely slow. Yeah. There is a, a cool. I should see if I can find it. You can do it in the fir very first level of the game where you just can farm points. It's locked. Yeah, wait, it's... wait. It said something happened outside the room, right? Yeah. Oh wait. Okay, thank you. What if it's in 3D land? Ooh! Never mind. Man, if only if I can grab that. Wow, thanks, Throw. <laughs> yeah, he's like. Ow, fuck. He's like, I'm a member of his team too. Right? Like, yeah, shut the fuck up, Throw. <laughs> nobody, nobody cares. I'll put you back in that box. <laughs> <laughs> nobody cares. You are shit. <laughs> what, is there another flip thing? Oh wait. Aha! I'm so fucking smart. That's crazy. Huh, crazy. Yeah, I just imagined <laughs> that like, um, Ooh. that like you know, Mario. Mario is just a normal human being, but like Pixel is like Ooh. one of those uh, like mantis shrimp that can see like, like, sixteen times the amount of colors that we can. <laughs> Have you ever heard of that? I think it's Mantis Shrimp. Let me, let me, let I me got a Bezel out. Beetle! Um, you know birds have, uh, like, better eyes than we do, and they can see a lot more colors and more vibrant? Yeah. I learned that because I was like, wait, can- I was like, are birds colorblind? Because I'm writing a fanfiction right now. Oh, wait, wait. No, I mean, Ooh. don't you remember? That's, like, the whole point of, like, you know... You got eyes like a hawk. Well, I thought they just meant birds have good eyesight. I mean, yeah. I mean, they do, but like... <laughs> typically, typically the animals that have good eyesight also have like more channels to see different colors one of. Like, mantis shrimp have 12 different types of color photoreceptors in their eyes, which is four times as many as humans. So not only can they see red, green, red, green and blue, mm -hmm. but they can also see ultraviolet and polarized light. Which is kind of crazy, because, uh... You know, imagine, like, ultraviolet light, like, the shit that gives you fucking skin cancer, you'd be able to see that shit. <laughs> you can see the shit that's gonna give you skin cancer, is that what you said? But, but the thing that, like, uh, I find, like, really interesting about that is, you know, I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of cool, the idea of, like, oh, they can, uh, they can see, like, so many more colors than mm. we can, but... The other cool thing to think about is, um, or well, I guess not cool thing to think about, the crazy thing to think about is if you can see so much stuff like that, imagine how much stuff you'd be seeing. Like, your eyesight would be so cluttered with crap, because, like, you, you'd be able to see, like, all, like, everything. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, in those, uh, in those scenes where, like, people are, like, tripping balls and, like, they, they're, like, seeing, like, everything around them, they're like, mm -hmm. I can... I can hear colors. Mm -hmm. That's like how I imagine mantis shrimp was. <laughs> they're like, holy fuck, I can see everything. Wait, what? The minute they're conceived, they're they're just like stressing. Ooh. All right. Two. Three. You should have been a gamer and done it in uh in two D. But I'm not a gamer. You know this about me. I'm the opposite of a gamer. <laughs> Are I'm there, a gamer. <laughs> are there any things like that in games or like I guess in real life or anything like that that uh that, that have been like puzzles like that and you like brute force them? I don't think so. I mean, we we <laughs> me and Minho brute force some of the uh the stuff that we did in the escape room thing. Because <laughs> yeah, we're, we're like, oh too. god, where's the where's the bird at? <laughs> we just fucking brute force. <laughs> Yeah, like, I mean, if you find, like, three out of four things, then I don't blame you for, like... Yeah. For being, like... Oh, I can't go back down. I was gonna go check something. I have an interesting story... No! Uh, yeah. story about that, so... Uh, my teacher in... Uh, my high school history teacher, she would... Oh. Who is this? Is it me? Yeah. 
Uh, what voice am I supposed to do? You a robot voice. Warning. Warning, no bitches detected. <laughs> God the damn it! <laughs> Count, count these particles of sand. One, <laughs> two, Why the fuck would three. you tell him to do that? <laughs> Intrusion detected. Shaking my head. Leave immediately or be purged. The purge is here? Wait. Scan initialized. You get zero bitches. Fuck! <laughs> Red cap detected. Blue overalls detected. Level five mustache detected. Incredible possible subject identification, but it is impossible. Hold your position. Searching data banks. Hey, that was like the we, the we searching thing. <laughs> I wonder why. Search complete. One positive match. System overload. Legendary hero identified. Forgive me, hero. I am called Fractal. My only purpose is to defend a pure heart from lawless intruders. You are late. I have waited <laughs> thousands of years for your arrival. Oh, sorry, I wasn't born yet. My bad. <laughs> you may pass. The pure heart is just ahead. Ahaha. Uh -huh. That's not the same person. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. <laughs> Who's this now? Who speaks? That's what Cameron asked. Ah oh, shit, what voice did I give to him? Whimsical. Give it give put a little fruit on there. A little fruit? A little frappe, you know? So very nice to meet you and your mustache. There you go! <laughs> I'm gonna forget this voice the next time we I'm record too. I'm just gonna be like think of Bird's voice from Pokemon, you're like, got it. <laughs> Yeah. No, I just I just give him a different voice every single episode. Yeah, every. I mean, he does wear a mask. I think that's what the mask is. is. Dream, is that you? I am Count Black's master of dimensions, the pleaser of guys. I mean, crowds. I am Dementio. Remember the name well. I know you. You're that. It would be so very dull if your journey ended so easily. Instead, it ends with magic. <laughs> yes, much better. Now you and this robotic guardian can spend some quality time. Yes, quality snack time when he snacks on you. <laughs> For you are the snack. Ciao! What did he just... Beep. I am erect. Press any key <laughs> to restart. System not found. This not found. Read error. Insert boot desk in every response. System may begin. Application error. Save your working quit. You lost everything. Way to go, idiot. <laughs> Waiting for process of 404. Computer hamster found. Threat level upgraded to jelly roll one. Detonation imminent. This is me trying to think of shit to do at work. <laughs> <laughs> run query identification run insult generate results go away yeti lip control alt delete that opens up a task manager oh yeah it does gotta love the task manager that's why I have to open up every time discord doesn't want to open <laughs> While you fight this this fellow, I'll I'll, fi I'll finish my story. Wait, hold on. I want to tattle this guy. That's Frank Tail, the robotic guardian of the pure heart. He's quite enormous. Nice XP question mark question mark. Attack is one. It can fly and swoop down with its big open mouth. But I think the antenna like horn on top of its head is the weak point. I think you're going to need to use throw to hit it. Oh, finally, throw! You're going to be useful. <laughs> now we don't have to put you in that box for another thousand years. Yep. He's like. He's like, thank God. <laughs> um, but uh, it, so this, this story was uh, my 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 old history teacher. Mm. She always made um the like we had to take these online tests. Mm -hmm. Um, 
they were just like multiple choice history um, exams and whatnot. I can flip back and forth using 3D! Oh shit, again. <laughs> Why did you try to Whee! throw to, a, to hit him? Oh. I see. But she would always make the like passwords to get into these these uh, tests and and whatnot. She would always make them something related to the uh, to like the stuff we've been learning about. And uh, and I figured out like her like scheme of how she how she like creates these uh, these passwords. Like, like what generally sh uh, she uses as like a cool fact or whatever to make to like make into passwords and so one of the one of the exams I was sitting there I was like I wonder if I could just like brute force and figure out what the password for this e for this exam was and I sat there during my study hall and I got into the exam early <laughs> <laughs> wait, oh sh oh wait and, I made it and so uh, and so later on, uh, like, I went and, like, told her about it, because, uh, because it, oh, system crash. I have malfunction. What have I done? Hero, hero, the error is mine. I am sorry. Shame circuit. Smoldering. Please, you must save our world. You killed him! We didn't have a choice! I found a door. <laughs> anyway, finish your story. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, so she started having to, like... Really think about how to make these passwords. Because... Because uh, of what you did? Yeah, because of how I, like me getting in early and whatnot. Because, like, obviously she couldn't, like, proctor the exam or anything. Because I was in a study hall, like, across the school. Mm -hmm. And, uh... And she was, she was, like... And she, uh, mentioned during our class... Because I went up and told her. I was, like, I was, like... I was, like, yeah, I was just screwing around, plugging in some things that we had learned in class. And I got into the exam early. And she was, and she was, like... Uh, she told everyone during the class, she was, like... Because some genius decided to get into the exam early, I've had to completely rethink how I'm making these passwords for these exams. So, uh, so she was like, she was like, so you you have him to uh, him to thank for for that. And I was like, I was like, well, what is that? It's not like it's a bad thing for any of us. Like, yeah. You're gonna make the exam harder or fail anyone. Like, yeah. It would have been one thing if you if you like went in there and you're like you just did the exam. <laughs> it that would have been one thing, but at least you like you got in. And you're like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I, I just thought it was so funny because, like, well, like, I told my friends, too, and I was like, I was like, I was like, I just got into the exam early, and they're like, what do you mean? And I was like, yeah, I literally have the exam. Well, I guess they don't want you to cheat unless it's, like, you can do open book or some shit. Yeah, and, but, like, as soon as I did that, I, like, went and told her, and I was like, I was like, I'm sorry, I was just screwing around, because, because, like, she, she knew me, like, I was a, I was, like, a pretty decent student. I might have been an asshole, but I was... <laughs> Of course I, you were. I was a responsible student when it came to academics, mm -hmm. and and so I told her that, and she was like, she was like, you didn't show anyone, did you? And I was like, I was like, well, I told them I got in, but I didn't. Uh, I was I like, didn't I didn't tell the password. <laughs> like, and and it has like a start thing. It's like you get in, and then you. Have oh to start yeah, it. yeah, and then it starts like the timer or shit. Yeah, and I was like, I was like, you can see I didn't start it. Like mm -hmm. I even showed her because like we had school iPads. Yeah. And uh, and so like I showed her it and everything, and she was like. She's like, that's fine, but I gotta change the password now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Welcome, hero. My name is Perlumia. That's Merlumia. Thank you. Merlumia. <laughs> you know, I was watching Gravity Falls, and uh, this character came up called Lazy Susan, and I'm like, why does her voice sound so familiar? It looked it up. It is Jennifer Coolidge. That makes actually so much sense. <laughs> and I, I can't believe I never connected the dots on yeah, that. Yeah, she also voices other characters, like, 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 provides additional voices for Gravity Falls, but the, her main role is Lazy Susan. You know what? I'm gonna look that up. What, uh, Lazy Susan? No, I'm gonna look up Jennifer Coolidge. All roles. Uh. 
Gravity falls. I am a German soul. I have waited long to give you the pure heart. Oh yeah, she's a good voice actor. When Neil deGrasse Tyson was Waddles? Oh yeah, Waddles had an episode where he spoke English. <laughs> He's like Oh yeah, there she is, Jennifer Coolidge. Do you do you not know who this dude is? No. Hold on. Just look up look up his it's him, the famous astrophysicist. <laughs> oh yeah, because there's an episode where Waddles got like really smart and everything, and he built like a thing so he can speak. So I guess that makes kind of sense. Yeah, but this this dude is like he's like an extremely famous uh, astrophysicist. He's like he's like the black Stephen Hawking. Damn. If Stephen Hawking could walk. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's see who else. Um. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer Coolidge, the wiki for Gravity Falls. Yeah. Does it exist? Uh, she's an actress. I didn't know she was an actress. Well, oh, she was on Fanny in Robots? Yeah, you didn't know that? <laughs> no, I didn't know that. <laughs> Dude, Aunt Fanny had a fanny. You can continue on with the plot of this. Yes, I've been waiting for 1,500 years. Look how beautiful I am. Blue hair. <laughs> She is kind of pretty. Your presence here must mean that all worlds have begun to collapse. Yes, they have, in fact. That's why we're here. Before I give you the pure heart, you and I must speak. Listen well, hero. Yeah, you like my Jennifer Coolidge? <laughs> you, know, you like jazz? <laughs> you like jazz? <laughs> Long, long ago, my people built a civilization hailed as a beacon of culture. Sadly, despite our power, there was one thing we were powerless to stop. The Dark Prognosticus, yeah. Nobody knows who authored the Dark Book. It foretold the events of the future. Do you think Mario was the writer? Yeah, <laughs> he just made it up. Yeah. And then the Count Black was like, "Oh my God, this is kind of genius." Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. That's that's why it's like in like in like dark archaic terms because Mario doesn't know English. He so wrote it. He wrote it in Italian. <laughs> they're like, "What what dark arts?" <laughs> yeah. is and then the last page is like, "This is how you make the perfect pizza pie." <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's actually just like a cookbook and, <laughs> <laughs> and Count Black mistranslated everything. Yeah, he's like. He's like, he's like, if I if I do this, I can summon Cthulhu, and it's like actually talking about how to make a cannoli. Yeah. <laughs> Take your pizza dough and fly it in the air. <laughs> Don't forget the pasta sauce. <laughs> On the last page, it was written that a chaotic power will devour the world. It's actually like a mistranslation of like, enjoy your pizza, devour it to your heart's content. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we knew it had to be stopped. Our greatest minds devised a grand plan to stop the travesty before it happened. We needed something with pure essence of love to confront this chaos. Researchers set to work, and they created the Purity Heart. It's like the Purity Rings. <laughs> I did not, I did not that image. What, Purity Rings? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Who plays Little Gideon? Uh... Thurup Van Orman, also Weird Al Yankovic was in an episode. Oh yeah, is that guy, he was in uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, right? Continue on with okay, the, with the I'll, I'll, get, I'll let you know if there's anything interesting on this front. We divide the purity ring into eight pieces and hid them in different dimensions. We hid them for their own protection, waiting for the day the hero would arrive. Everything was going as planned, or so it seemed. Then the wheels of destiny began to spin wildly out of control. It began with a small incident. In that time, I was young and quite beautiful. Makes you want a hot dog. <laughs> it started on the day I met two very striking young men. And you see, my life went sailing in the mistrals of love. You see, I asked one out. But, however, it was, well, you know... It wasn't that, like, boom, you know, basically it. And then I said, and then he said, and then... And then, and then Mario's like... <laughs> and then we went to a fireworks show. It lit up, like, the 4th of July. <laughs> Holy yapping. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Yo, is this Heisen? 
the Yapatron. <laughs> and that was why we hoped that Purity Ring would, would have the power to defeat Chaos. Like the one from Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> To save all worlds, we must find the eight pure hearts to form the purity heart. And that's all I have to say on the matter. Were you listening carefully? Yeah. Yeah, 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 I got it. Excellent. I did tell the short version, so I wasn't sure if you would fully understand. Uh, it's up to you to find the purity hearts, for they are our last and only hope. Go forth, hero, and save the world. We are all depending on you! Take this orange blob! Oh yeah, the, 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 Look at it! We have no! a pure heart! You got a pure heart! And look at the little throw, he's doing, he's vibrating. <laughs> yeah. We did it! Well, that's the end of chapter one. Yeah. Before disappear- oh, this is you. Before disappearing, Merlamina had entrusted Mario to save every world. She had waited 1500 years to deliver the message to the legendary hero. With the second pure heart in hand, Mario was in great spirits. But six pure hearts still remained to be found, and the journey had just begun. With a flutter, Tippy said, I think we better return to Flipside. The weight of every world's fate once again rested on Mario's shoulders. When isn't the world on Mario's shoulders? That's a very great question. Motherfucker must be strong as shit to be carrying the world on his shoulders. Yeah, like like Atlas. Atlas? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what his name is. Oh, the, well, I don't know. The like titan that holds up the world in Greek mythology. Is it? I'm pretty sure. I don't know, I don't fucking carry that thing. <laughs> it's not my thing to carry. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess the hero went ahead and stomped you and sent you back here. You got to forgive me, Count. I failed you. I felt less chunky in me life. <laughs> so our hero is real. Yes, a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> Nastasia, the prophecy. Consult it and learn where the hero will go next. What the fuck does she have to read? It's your diary. And we will lay a <laughs> devious trap for him and bring him to his very knees. Black! Yeah, uh, I already sent Mimi on the site for that pickup for that purpose. And this pleases Count Black. Excellent work, Nastasia. I have granted Mimi powers potent enough to ensure that she will obliterate this hero. Yes, he will be helpless against her. I depart! I learned to count to black when this hero is no more. <laughs> black! I imagine he's like throwing up every single time he says black. Yeah, he did. Black! <laughs> yeah, I fired up a memo on that, but for now we have another item on the agenda. Oh, Chung, so you got a second? Yeah, so some of the minions in the Bowser's organization are so resisting. Uh, what does that say? Simulation. Simulation. A simulation? Fuck out. <laughs> so, I'm heading out to squash some resistance, and while I'm gone, I want you to stay here. Yeah, so just stay still and think about your recent job performance, okay? Fucker. <laughs> she just basically said, <laughs> You're not um, getting that yeah, raise, bitch. <laughs> yeah, you pathetic sack of shit. You're uh, going to be killed in this in the next uh, purge. <laughs> Uh, don't be so helpful on your next job performance, all right? <laughs> on your next job, uh, overlord. Oh, I, uh, got me tweezing me chin hairs. It's you. Shut the fuck up. No, you shut the fuck up. Mario! Oh, uh, what? Huh? Damn, I'm so looking to fly during the end of the world. <laughs> what? How did I end up napping here? Wait, did that nasty cowboy try to make me marry Bowser? And then Luigi. Luigi? Bowser? Anyone here? <laughs> Is this Luigi? No, nope, just a random guy. Uh, no, you're the only one of the wedding party left standing, it looks like. Look at him. So you finally woke up, huh, princess? Oh, you guys! Are you alright? 
Yeah, but who knows what happened? That was one crazy wedding. Yeah, it's like the my big fat G wedding. <laughs> we can't even find his groomness. You remember King Bowser? Oh, and and that guy with the mustache. I think he had on a green tux or, or something. Yeah, I'm Luigi. That's the guy. We we don't know where he ended up either. Thing is, most of us minions got all brainwashed by that black guy's assistant. Yeah, everybody's half nuts. It's not safe here. We gotta clear this area now. Fuck. All right. Private Koopa here will score you. Okay, you guys make a break for it. But what about you? <laughs> what am I gonna do? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, sorry. I'm gonna go help my men. King Bowser would burn me to a crisp if I left him. Leave no Koopa behind. Good luck out there, princess. Hail Bowser! No! <laughs> Farewell! I forgot Peach's voice. It's probably that high pitch. Okay, lady, we gotta evac this zone. Let's roll! Oh my god, look at her. <gasps> look at his tail. I love the Koopa's little tail. Yeah, look how cute these are. They're just little dudes. I could be mad at a little guy. You, give up. There's like no hope for escape. I think that's Anastasia. Fuck, no. <laughs> oh, hail the glorious count! Do not resist, submit to his rule, and you will love it! What's this in insubordination? Johnson, I am your captain. Drop and give me 20. Wasn't that a thing in the Thousand Year Door where he's like, Johnson, did you see him? Did anyone <laughs> no, I see think so, him? I think so. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have to tell you that your, more your orders mean nothing. There she is. There's the bitch. <laughs> See, you're right. they already swore internal allegiance to the Count, okay? And now you're gonna need to, so I'm gonna go ahead and pencil you in for a 10 o'clock brainwashing. You just messed with the wrong Koopa. I serve Bowser. You tell this Count to go fucking kill him. <laughs> ah! Hail Black. Mm hmm, yeah, there. Isn't that better? So listen, there's a little few problem minions that haven't sworn legiancy. You be a lamb and round them up for me, okay? Thanks. Yes, mommy. No, uh, ma'am. <laughs> Look at her. She got that fucking pot like her bun up so tight. Oh man, this is going downhill fast. Did you see that? They even broke the captain. Look, lady, if they find us, it is game over. We gotta clear this area stat. Well, I'm trying, bitch. Oh, wait, do we have Peach's powers? Hell yeah, we do. I love this game. <laughs> she got her parasol from that one DS game where she had the parasol and it was awesome. <laughs> you know what I'm talking Someone knows what I'm talking about. See, who needs stairs when you have Peach? <coughs> Sorry, I'm dying. Yeah, how dare you. I love how he keeps walking the wrong fucking direction. He's a Koopa, leave him alone. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a green one, he's gonna fall off the edge. Oh, oh shit. Are we actually? <laughs> no. no! Dead end! I mean, we can just... Well, saying here won't... Well, saying here won't do us any good! Let's turn around and keep looking! I'll turn back. Yeah, no, your friend just had a ride. This is your dead end. Who are you, anyway? Fine cover, lady. I'm trained to handle scum like this. Ah, shit. Yeah, I got glasses now. <laughs> I got blinged out. I'm goth now. <laughs> All hail, Count Black. Well, princess, you sure are lucky. I thought the wedding explosion finished you. Yeah, but this is the end of the road, and your luck runs out right here. Time for you to come over and go with the program. Come and serve the count. Never! Yeah, that's great and all, but my hypnosis powers kind of say otherwise. Just sit tight, okay? Because I gotta just brainwash you real quick. Dot, 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 dot. What? That wasn't in the schedule. Where does she go? Well, that's really not a deal breaker. 
Our prophecy fulfillment plan is running smoothly. We don't need her anymore. Yeah, and it doesn't matter where she runs since all the worlds are about to fall. Hmm, who saved her? I remember that day well. The room was warm. The whole place was at peace. Ugh, ugh. You're awake at last. Where am I? Is this a human's house? <coughs> Don't wiggle like that. I found you on the cliff face. You took quite a fall. You're a human, correct? I don't repulse you. I'm from the tribe of darkness. Why would that matter? Anyone with a heart would not ignore an injured soul. That was the day our paths crossed. That day, that was the day our tragedy was set in motion. Okay, now we got a little heart. Because we completed it. If you got a pure heart, you can choose a specific section. She chapter. First, to Merlin's place. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Yeah, we can go to Merlin's place. <laughs> Man, I love Merlin's place. It's so cozy, even though we've never been inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me feel at home, even though I've never seen it before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. You know what they say, home is where the heart is, or something, on yeah, the like, country. Like, Italy's such a pretty place, like, I'm, I'm so glad that I've never been there. <laughs> I think that's Merlin. <laughs> oh, you, you returned so soon. Oh, I can see from your faces that it went well, indeed. Oh, let's head back to my house so you can tell the details. Please step right in. Okay. Oh, look, the asshole's in the sky. Robots in the sky! Yeah, yes, I hear some fat dookies have come out of that asshole in the sky. <laughs> robots in the sky? This is like that dream I had once about robots in the sky! Tell it to us excruciating detail, Tails! Well, it was a whole dream, bye! <laughs> so, how uh, was it, dear friends? Did you find a pure heart? Yeah! Are we gonna pull it out? <laughs> Check out my dick! <laughs> Oh, such pure brilliance. This is a true piece of the one true purity heart. Yeah, we met Merlimnia. She gave it to us. Uh, wh what? Lady Merlimnia? You were well met. She is an ancestor of mine. She's my great, 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 great. Anyway, she was the one who wrote <laughs> the Light Prognosticus to counteract the Dark One. Man, I didn't know Jennifer Coolidge was your great, 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 great. <laughs> Merlimina and those who followed her built this town. They are why we are here. Mr. Merlin, bad news! What the fuck is it? <laughs> what is it, you squidward looking <laughs> fucking piece of shit? <laughs> you see. Um, 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 what? A girl fell out of the sky? Thank God. <laughs> I needed some bitches. I don't know, just please get to the elevator and come up to see her. So it shall be. And you, Mario, come along. We may need your presence as well. I just stand there and I'm like, my presence is needed. I'm more for moral support. Uh, yeah, your aura is just so pronounced that you, uh... That you, you go over there and, and, and the girl instantly falls in love with you. By Pinoxicus. The ancients wrote it to fight the dark Pinoxicus. It tells what the hero can do to save the world. There you go, if you want to know where the light one was. <laughs> Welcome them go. Well, in the next one... <laughs> well... Yeah, we got time. We can go see who the girl is. Oh, shit. I wonder. Wee. Wee. Skipping the shit. I don't want to see the elevator scene. I didn't even know you could skip it. Yeah, you just press two. Um, yeah, so when I was looking up at the tower, she kind of fell out of nowhere. Hmm, she does not look at all familiar to me. Who could this be? <laughs> that is my bitch! <laughs> What's the matter? Oh. Hi. Princess Peach? So this is the princess that Count Black kidnapped? Yeah. Well, the poor girl seems to have had a rough time of that, we can be sure. She doesn't appear to be conscious, and she is shivering uncontrollably. 
What could the problem be? Oh, -ho! I know. She needs hot chocolate. Mario, you must go to the chef named Saffron on the first floor of Flipside. I am sure she knows a warming and revitalizing recipe for this poor girl. Once she revives, we will be able to ask Princess Peach exactly what happened. Now, off with you. Find Saffron the chef on the first floor. You're, you're right, we are going to give her hot chocolate. Is it actually? No. <laughs> Speaking of hot chocolate, I did drink four cups of it today. What the fuck? I used four K cups of it and did six ounces. So in total, I drank 24 ounces of hot chocolate. Why are you drinking hot chocolate and it's the middle of summer? Because coffee gives me a tummy ache, but hot chocolate doesn't for some reason. I'm just built different, that's all. Look at her! What up, bitch? Welcome to Sweet Smiles! Oh, sugar! Our dishes will turn that little friend upside down! What? A friend of yours is out cold? Oh, mercy! Well, listen here, sugar. She sounds like she needs some spicy soup. Well, all I need is a Firebird to make a pot of soup that will warm her in a jiffy. Some stores sell Firebirds, so just check the shelves wherever you like. You bring me one, sugar, and I'll make some spicy soup. But, oh my, looks like you're ready to have a Cyberburst, don't you now? Oh, I do, I forgot about that. Why aren't you an enterprising one? Hand it over and I'll whip up some spicy soup. <laughs> Here take, you go. Take my ghost shroom. <laughs> yeah, two of them. So, sugar, you want to give me that fi- Yeah, here you go, thank you. Well, spicy soup coming right up, sugar. Yay, now we get introduced to the cooking mechanic in this game. <laughs> Ooh la 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 yum, put it in your tongue. The heart means that we didn't burn the kitchen down. <laughs> Sorry for the wait, sugar, but it turned out just right. Sip with a flame-proof soup. Spoon. <laughs> it ought to wake up that sleepy beauty of yours, sugar. Let her get it to her just as quick as you can. Can we... Aw, oh, I was gonna make something. Wait a minute, was that a DS? Hold on. Peach can wait. This can't. It is! <laughs> oh, wait, team data process. Oh, oh, wait, data upgrade. What the fuck? Okay. I guess I'll wait to play on my DS. Yeah, you Assholes. <laughs> Never get to play on my DS anymore. The horrors! <sighs> fuck. I need more hot chocolate in my system. Oh no, I'm tired too. Yeah. You should- I'll wait. Never mind. You passed one thing going up, but... No, that one takes you all the way to the top. Oh. Like, to the tower of Tilted. To the Tilted Towers. Hey, what are we just gonna do? Just like, like alright, open her mouth. <laughs> You're a bitch. <laughs> oh ho, it seems to have worked. Oh, she's cute. Oh, I feel like I just ate the most delicious thing. I haven't had a dream about such tasty food in ages. Hi, what's up? Oh, Mario, are you okay? But where exactly are we? This is Flipside. What the fuck is up with that talking butterfly over there? <laughs> oh, okay, and, and you are? You're not gonna, like, seal my soul, right? My dear, I am called Merlin, and that is what is known as a pixel. Her name is Tippy. Come, let us adjourn to my house. I would be grateful if you would tell us more there. Yeah. Fade to black. <laughs> and then, before I knew it, I woke up and saw Mario you and Tippy. And that weird guy with the hand. <laughs> Well, my dear, that is most assuredly a tale of woe and troubles. Oh, Mario, what am I? What do you suppose so happened to Luigi and Bowser? Oh, they're dead. That nah, sucks. Well, I suppose you're right. It's just no way to know. I just hope they're safe. Wow, I can't believe she's worried about Bowser. Merlin, what do we do next? 
and one pure heart shall lead the way to the next, so it is written. There are still more heart pillars to be found in Flipside, young ones. When you find the next heart pillar, you must set a pure heart in it. And when you do, a door to the world containing the next pure heart will appear. Alright, cool. And my intuition tells me the next door may lead you to the mysterious Merli. Like Bristovius and I, Merli is one of the ancients. We are like long lost cousins. <laughs> yes, I have heard that Merli had long guarded an ancient and secret treasure. If my instincts are correct, it may be the next pure heart we seek. I must tell you, the Light Prognosticus also speaks of her magical powers. So we just need to find this Marley person, is that it? Oh ho, are you going as well? You should not tax yourself, you've only just recovered, and it may be dangerous. Nah, she has to, she's the main character. Well, I just can't stand here and let everyone go off and save the world, can I? After all, the void is just spreading in the sky. It's my fault, mine and Bowser's. No. So I'm going, that's final. I made my decision. Peach has joined your party. Oh shit. Now you can control not just Mario, but Princess Peach as well. I guess we need to find that next the heart pillar, whatever. <laughs> Are you falling asleep? <laughs> this princess is headstrong to be sure. How very refreshing. I insist you take this. Ooh, I love old keys. This key goes somewhere, I have no idea. <laughs> this may be one of the keys to uncovering them, quite literally, in fact. Please use this key wherever it fits here in town. My intuition tells me you should be able to use it very near my house. I will continue to read the light prognosticus and look for any clues that may help. Alright. I am sure that musty old tome still has much to teach us. Yes, much indeed. Now, Mario, Princess Peach, do all you can to stop the Count's evil plans. Let's go, Mario! Come on, Tippy! Yeah. yeah, we did it! We got another part of my wrong. <laughs> when playing as Princess Peach, you can use your umbrella in a few ways. Press and hold the two and jump when floating around real slow. In addition, you can press down and make anyone going in. When you want to change your character, you just choose him or her on the screen. Like this. Nice. Or this. this. I will also, you know, Mario's the only one that can go into the third dimension. So when you press A, nothing happens. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, so when you look at the controls too, it doesn't even tell you that, like, she's, like to press the A button. Yeah, but she can use Tippy. Yeah, she can go like this and be guarded. So when enemies attack her, it does zero damage. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, there, I mean, there has to be a mechanic. And then. Yeah. I love her. She's beautiful. Alright. Are you ready to explore Flip Side in the next one? Yep. Can't wait. Yes! So fucking excited. At least I can hide. Do you think that Peach and Flipside have explored each other's bodies? In the next one! <laughs> Say bye, Cameron. <laughs> yep. Till next time, everyone. Yeah. Bye. Bye bye.